This is my uh, Mark 1 DIY low pressure sodium ballast and right now it's being a bit of a troll. Um, those are the various potential waveforms. Let's see, cursors, go away, come on. Um, so you got a bit of a problem there because measured these two waveforms. These are the um, signals from the um, SG3524 going into the TC4427 FET driver. Those are the um, potential waveforms on the FET drains, which look to be fairly normal. Um, problem is, is these two, it isn't, um, these aren't even. One of these is uh, uh, one of these is, um, this one's 11 and a half microseconds, this other one's uh, 12.3. And there's also this weird oscillating effect on, um, one of the channels where it has these extra ringing periods, which it's not supposed to do. And the thing is that it only does this when I have the TC4427 in there. Um, otherwise it doesn't do that. Um, those are just a pair of LEDs that I put in there. One on uh, each half of the... Uh, so that each one lights on half the cycle. They're basically wired in anti-parallel through a 10,000 ohm resistor on the um, auxiliary winding of this transformer. You can see the part number there. Those are interested. So that is working. The problem is, is that the transformer is saturating under this condition. I'm going to see if it's an issue with the TC4426 or, or 4427 um, or the SG3524 because the SG3524 without the uh, TC4426 is working normally. Uh, fits are just barely one of the touch. They should be. Uh, these are uh, I, some IRF 540s I had because I couldn't find any of my um, of the PSMN 4R6s that I've been using for the uh, DIY Maxim PowerPoint Charge Controller project. And then there's this little thingamajig which is taking advantage of the um, this bit of the circuit which is the um, that's just a, a means of active current limiting for the um, SJ3524 that's basically just a current trans that's basically just another power transformer that I have um, wired so that the lamp current is going through the secondary then I've got a, um, a shot key um, <coughs> grayets bridge on what would normally be the primary of the transformer going through this 2.4 ohm, although these are, I think, defective and they read a bit high, which is probably why they're in a cheapo grab bag. But um, the um, if the lamp current gets above about uh, 350 or so milliampers, potential across that resistor gets up to about... 100 odd millivolts and trips the overcurrent or whatever the overcurrent threshold in the SG3524 is. But of course the circuit isn't working properly but then again these things often don't on the first iteration. Technology. Also four channels FDW. And I just measured both um, TC4427 um, with um, or the widths of uh, both drive pulses are both output channels on the HT3524 and they are both 13.1 um, microseconds. So I, so knocking with the problem isn't in the SG3524, it's probably in some part of the, um, or it's how the TC4427 treats its input. The thing is I don't know if it'll work with a um, just a single ended with pull down type drive or if it needs a much harder um, drive signal because this is basically how I have it configured. I've got the um, two output transmitters or pfft, the output uh, transistors in the SG3524. This is just half the circuit but they're both like this. Um, and both of their collectors um, tied to uh, the 12 volt rail and I have the outputs configured as basically open emitter. You can do that with the SG3524. It's one of the ways the chip's designed. It's designed for all kinds of weird things like that. And um, then I just have a 5,600 ohm pull-down resistor to uh, ground 
on the line from the TC4427, but I don't know if I need some kind of intermediate buffering. So, uh, but the thing is, it's only doing that on that one channel, so I don't know if it might be just some weirdity with this particular T, um, S23524, because I haven't really ever seen that before on this. And, um, but it's occurring on both the input and the output of the, um, uh, TC4427, as I have checked. So, yeah, technology.